freaking cow. Actually, here comes the other one right now. All right, man. Well, there you go. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Another video today, man. Exciting video today. Rob's here hooking up the uh, trailer right now. Pulling this utility out of the way. That way he can turn the truck around, get the plow dropped off, because these guys are doing cleanups. Uh, we got the other enclosed trailer over here that's been basically uh, cold started, retooled all the equipment in there. Going to be dropping that off at the storage lockers Monday through Friday, but it's here for right now. So the guys are going to be tacking on a cleanup. I've got some bids and quotes I'm getting out, and then super exciting, as you guys might know and might have heard, we've got our Xmark machines in at Weingart, so I'm going to go pick up those two bad boys here a little bit after about 10, 30, 11 o'clock this morning. All right, you good? Uh, sure. I I backdragged my pl uh, driveway that day. It snowed, and I forgot about the plywood highway here, and I just took all these sheets of plywood with me. So, so we saw some down there. There's another one down there? We saw some down there. There's some at the end of the driveway, he said. All right, well, uh, hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are doing cleanups, let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear what you guys are up to. I think we went from spring cleanups to winter back to cleanups. Unfortunately, we didn't do any cleanups this last uh, week, but uh, it was just too cold, too windy, so. There you go. This thing is gonna have to uh, come off the trailer. Actually, Rob, can I take this off the trailer really quick? Sure. Might as well just put it in here. All right. All right. Get the white one over here. All right, there you go. Now we got some light action. Looking good. And uh, by the way, if you guys have not sent me your stickers yet for the tool chest, come on, let's go. I got a whole freaking wall. I got this one. We've got plenty of space. So if you guys haven't sent me one just yet, please do. All right. Wood burn, wheels, buzz cut. If you know, you know. Hey, Gary, GM. I think we're going to be doing a uh, shop tour with him here very, very soon. Elite. Actually, this guy's doing really good on uh, IG and his business. Jake's Lawn Care. Mitchell's old logo. All right. Send me your logos. Or your logo. Send me your stickers. And uh, I love the postals up there. And I'll do a video once a week or end a week or something, you know, showing all the uh, additional stickers that we had. That'd be cool. All right. Oh, I've got a box of the quick loader straps if you need them in my truck bed. All right, cool. But do we have the mower strapped down in the trailer right now? I believe we should. We should be good for right now. I'll get those into the barn today. It's cold, man. Yeah. For a day that's supposed to end at 59 degrees, it's pretty freaking cold this morning. You're good. You can pull. Boop, boop. Alright, there you go. So what we've been doing is taking these uh, two planks of wood and making them like little ramps because the plow kind of bottoms out and catches here on the uh, rack, on the uh, ramp. There we go. That's about right. And that way it doesn't uh, bottom out, scraping all my welds and popping my welds. What do you put it up higher? Yeah, about halfway. All right, it's all you, if you want. You guys can see that clearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Uh, hold up, hold up. Let me just give you like another inch. All right, you're good. So 
look how much more clearance that gives us. And I'd rather scrape the wood than uh, scrape my welds. We're trying to figure out where to put this thing for right now. I told him just put it in the front yard. Uh, yeah, you're good. I'll put it to the side if we're gonna move the trailer back to where it was at. Well, I gotta take the trailer anyway. Well, should we move the trailer then to the right? That way we can get the trucks in? Either. Over here. Yeah, either or. That works. The reason uh, I didn't want to sort out front is in case we need it again, but also I'm not going to be able to uh, get access to it if it's here until like this is all put away, that's all put away, and I got a lane here and we got our snow blowers. So this thing's got to get uh, shimmied over. That way we can put the plows stack in one and two right here. All right, so all of our salt's out, buckets out, snow blows are out. Rob's got the truck here already unhooked cardboard let's go all right uh if you guys don't know these are from uh quick loader we've had the, our last straps were about gosh eight years old seven years old so here's those ones that were holding on the uh, atv if you guys saw the last vlog so this is the ql 4500s at least i believe that's the the, the skew but this is the ones that we use uh i know some folks uh use different you know, ratchet strap system, uh, systems out there. For The reason I love these is because it automatically uh, retracts or recoils or spools back up. Uh, so when you pull that slack out, right, you don't have like just uh, tie downs just hanging around and having the big tangled ball that we all do getting all muddied up. This will re uh, retract and zip back up on itself here, right? So this is why I love these. Uh, we've been using these for like I said, seven years, and I would not use anything else. Yeah, see the ball, the ball of cords? We've all been there, done that. Instead, you can do this and uh, have it all looking really fresh. All right, so that's what we do. Quick loaders, and uh, we've had no issues with these. We've got two boxes of the fours, and then I think we got a couple extras, little ones. So there you go, a little plug for those guys. All right, one other quick thing while we're here for a second, guys, show you the uh, little care package Ballard sent. Mix the contents of this oil with one gallon of fresh gas in approved container. We got a little Ballard products. A lot of you guys are getting your uh, blades, your oils, catch pros, tarps, all that stuff uh, from Corey Ballard and Ballard products. Huge supporter, huge fan of those guys. They've got their new uh, synthetic two cycle oil. Haven't tested it just yet, but he sent us a little care package, little uh, six of these one gallon mixes. So we'll use these these, uh, these spring and report back to you, but I just want to show that to you guys. Another new product and uh, these guys are always uh, ahead of the curve, man. Staying uh, on top of the game. Oh, and I saw they have a new seat coming out too for a zero turn, so uh, that could be pretty dope. There you go. All right, we're gearing up. All right, these guys are out of here. Onto the road. Let's go get it. All right, guys, little transition here out front at Weingart's. Picking up the new Xmark mowers. Holy freaking cow. Actually, here comes the other one right now. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Thanks, brother. That looks good. All right, so we've got the 72 Xmark. And look at this, this Kawasaki got the big dog engine on here, the FX1000. And then mower number two, we're picking up two today. Xmark 60 inch Vertex. I think the same engine, yep, 38 and a half. 1000V, shout out to the Kawasaki team. Holy freaking cow, super excited about this as you guys can imagine. So here's where we're at. Uh, we are paying for the uh, 60 with the Tractus and then we also have the Bagger. The 72 is actually ceded to us from Xmark. Folks, I don't want to just do like the obligatory thank yous because I don't want it to seem obligatory. I will gen genuinely say really quickly, thank you to Xmark and thank you to you guys for watching the channel. What, eight years now? That's freaking crazy. And I just want to say a big thank you to you, all of you guys that are excited when we get some cool perks like this. I know we slave doing the YouTube thing and making content for you guys, helping you guys grow. It's kind of cool. Uh, when you kind of get something out of the deal, if you will, and uh, we've been exceedingly blessed, no doubt about it, but to get a mower like that to come showcase and share with you guys on the channel, that's freaking cool. So it wouldn't have happened without you guys. I genuinely appreciate that. Uh, and it's really cool to just see, you know, little perks like this come down to myself and some other great guys out there putting out content on the regular. So fun day for sure. Uh, we've got the 60 with the Cowie. We've got the 72 with the Cowie. 
We're waiting for the bagger to come on in, but we did get to track this. And then on the 72, we have ordered those new super wide tires, those like two foot wide tires, something like that. Absolutely ridiculous. That's gonna be coming down the pike here before you know it. Let me uh, start these up. We'll throw them on the trailer and then uh, we'll get them back to the shop and I'll show you guys them a little bit more. Oh, parking brake. There you go. Gosh, that engine just purrs. It sounds so nice. Holy cow. And I'm gonna imagine that it sounds the exact same on the 72. <laughs> oh. Hey man, I don't know what uh, smells better. Fresh cut grass or brand new engines? I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Hey, is it okay to still get excited about your business? Is it still okay to get excited about equipment? Is it still okay to be excited about growth? Do we still celebrate that in this country? I think yes, and we definitely do here. All right, I'm gonna load both of these up and then uh, let's hang tight, we'll go back to the shop. Cleanest it'll ever be. You gotta love that red, beautiful paint, huh? Ooh -wee. Oh, the trash collector. Heck yeah. This is a little thing, but this is actually pretty cool. And I do notice you got two uh, fuel tanks, right? I think they're seven gallons each. That's really nice. deck is 72 inches that's crazy right, guys well a little transition we are back here at the house and uh super excited about getting those machines back a little bit later here in the evening guys just got done with cleanups they met up here and uh one of them got their cars and just uh you know it's just one of those like first day back to spring cleanups back to work if you will uh everything's still coming in uh all the equipment's coming in the guys are going out quotes are going out there's a lot to go on this time of year. Hey, you guys already know what is going on. What I have to tell you, come on, you guys all know. Anyway, uh, the machines look absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna unhook them, throw them in the barn here for now, uh, empty the utility trailer, because Lord knows if we're gonna be using it tomorrow or the next day for a different job. Um, plus, might also have some other equipment coming down the road that might need the uh, deck space. Any guesses? <laughs> we're loading up, man. We're about to grow. Uh, we are growing. And uh, now that, we have another trailer to pick up here on Friday, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, again, Brian's on maintenance, we're going to the moon, and uh, 2024 is gonna be our best year ever. Let me show you guys the mowers one more time here. Uh, again, a little quick turnaround at Weingart's. So if you guys don't know, I'll give you a little, uh, what I know at least with the mowers. Uh, Xmark, uh, Vertex is the platform. The S-Series is like the standard, uh, whatever you guys wanna call it, for a lot of the Xmark mowers, right? Uh, the E-Series is like the one below it. Uh, most of the equipment that we get is S or X. And so, as you guys can see, uh, they have 100% beefed up the X-Series platform. And the X has always been like the X Mark's top of the line platform. Usually a bigger engine, bigger spindles, uh, the Ultra Cut Series 6 deck, which just cuts and processes more grass, uh, I personally believe than the uh, Series 4 deck. It just leaves a nicer cut overall. Uh, I had been begging the uh, engineering team. I said, give me an X-Series Vertex with some bigger tires, bigger fuel capacity, Tractus, 
Well, look at that. A year later, <laughs> those guys uh, delivered, man, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, you got the platform down here. I saw Blake's uh, video, by the way, on B&B. If you guys didn't see, he uh, scooped one of these up. Got a little side mount action here. Maybe you're on a hill or something, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got the platform, or not the platform, but the pad. Uh, I will say right off the rip, not enthused about the pad. Uh, these perforations right here actually uh, rub on your shins and your uh, knees. It doesn't seem like a lot, but little micro friction points like this uh, wear and tear through your pants and your jeans. And all my guys and I have no hair right here. <laughs> I thought you'd see a little thigh action here on the uh, Brian's All Maintenance YouTube channel. Uh, I would have liked to have seen this be a solid pad uh, or this. I, I give him an idea to just kind of cut. You know, you could have like an X, you know, if you will, and have like the X series, you know, with the X pad. Nobody listened to me there. He knows who he is, by the way, at the XMark team, if he was watching this video. By the way, you did a great job. Everything else, A+, plus, all right? Relax. Um, EFI, if I'm not mistaken, on the Cowie, yep. Big uh, air canister, uh, automotive grade air canister filter up on top. And the fuel tanks, this is what's really gonna get me the most excited. 14 gallons, if I'm not mistaken, seven and seven. Uh, I don't see any diverter valves, so I'm hoping they're integrated. That would be awesome. Uh, again, this is an EFI unit, so there is no uh, choke, so we don't have to worry about that. And uh, I believe this has the technology that uh, rev matches to where the PTO needs to engage. So it's not like you're going to uh, just engage at 3650 RPM or 2100 RPM. It'll meet you right where you need to be at, let's say 2800 or 3200 RPM, okay? Uh, deck lift assist right here. This is chunky, holy cow. Um, I'm not gonna bother with this one-handed when I got the camera, but that is huge. I mean, all grade eight. I love this uh, steel. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Another big thing with the X series compared to the S series, and we were having some struggles with getting up on curbs. We've got a lot of commercial sites, even more to come. And uh, I was gonna give away a site, but it's tough to get up on some of these curbs on some of the boulevards and some of the um, stacked up retaining walls that we're on for displays for some vehicles, okay? So uh, the S-Series, we should do a side-by-side -side comparison maybe uh, later, but these big chunky tires are definitely gonna do it for us. Uh, the reason, by the way, we have the Tractus only on the 60 and not the 72 is we have on order those big super wide, two foot wide tires, which would be great for stability with this mower. Um, one question that I have, and a lot of people said that it's hard to uh, stripe with a 72 and make straight lanes. So if you guys have, um, any thoughts or tips or suggestions on that leave me some comments down below i've honestly only ran a 72 gosh maybe like once or twice um maybe a zk 72 or something like that i don't even know if i ran a 72 uh stand on but uh man i don't i don't know maybe a toro or something like that i have to think so if anybody's got any tips on how to make a, a 72 keep those straight lines uh because you know a little shimmy on those controls and man you're making a huge bat wing pass a wider area mower pass right one thing i'll say x mark's not um telling me to tell you guys this this is just my own personal experience please upgrade the track this if you're already going in on a mower like this at this this level please spend the 1500 bucks i think it's part of a small fleet or mini fleet package or even fleet package and get the track this tires it's 1000 percent worth it anybody who tells you otherwise hasn't run the math don't listen to them about that or other business advice period okay these will 100% keep you on the road, keep your guys moving, and keep your production numbers where they need to be. Trash bag, I know it's silly, but there you go. Uh, integrated um, with the Bulldog Jack, so I can just couple that on and lift it up to change the blades out from underneath. I think that's pretty straightforward, guys. I mean, if there's anything else you wanna see, uh, leave me um, a comment down below, and I'll make sure to uh, get that on the next video. All right, let me take this off the trailer. We'll get these things moving. Gosh, those track us look huge, don't they? Cleanest with this mower will ever be, man, I'll tell you that. There's the 60, there's the 72, and the idea is to run, in our new trailer that's coming, we'll have probably the old 60 up front, and then the 72 in the middle, and the 60 with the Tractus in the back. So this will probably be our new mule, our main mower. Secondary, on the right sites that can support this bigger platform, but if not, we'll switch out to the 60. And then we have the 60S series that has 1200 hours on it. And that'll be um, mower number two or mower number, number, number three, obviously. So the idea is to keep the hours off of that unit, right?
By the way, I'll try to show you guys these quick loaders, how they uh, automatically tie up, right? There you go, it's brand new, so. There you go, no slack laying around, pretty nice. It's, they're in their new home and uh, heck yeah man get ready for spring all right well guys I think that's probably where we're going to leave it for now those look absolutely beautiful do they not uh, just got to say again super exciting day and uh, if you guys got any tips or suggestions again mo with the 72 <laughs> leave me some comments down below I'm a wide open book and always trying to learn how uh, to do the business the best that we can for our customers and uh, make sure that everything looks beautiful out there I just got to say a big uh, thank you again to you guys for making the channel what it is. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for sticking around. I know the last uh, 12 months have uh, been just a crazy hot mess here trying to build the house, have kids, the barn, grow the company. It's been a lot. And you know what? Uh, we're really excited about in 2024 getting back to YouTube and making a ton of videos for you guys and showing the growth as we look to and aspire to grow our company to that million dollar mark and beyond. How we're going to do that? Well, great employees, great team members, great customers, and of course, great equipment. Again, shout out and thank you to XMark for partnering with us again in 2024. And uh, we hope to make you guys proud and uh, show those mowers out there in the field what they're made of and uh, certainly in some beautiful stripes that XMark is known for. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you on today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll leave a couple other videos here if you guys want to check out some other great content from Brian's Law Maintenance. Look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.